it's 7 o'clock, 7.12 to be exact, on a Saturday, and I'm, I'm not used to being up this early, man, this, this isn't good, I'm half asleep trying to drive, but, anyway, I'm on a mission today, I've, I got the ammo products, um, headed to the car wash to try to, to try to wash the car off real quick and then use these ammo products and see how they work problem is right now it's it's 29 degrees is what my car is saying uh, below freezing obviously so this may not work out well I got a biker freaking tailgate are you serious So after using the ammo paint regimen kit, what is my verdict? Well, I'll start with the foam cleanser. Um, I like it. I think it's a high quality product. I think it um, it benefits you from the fact that it has a water repellent element to it. So when you go to rinse it off, you can see it just sheeting. So thumbs up on that one. I like it. Um, moving into the paint moisturizer, it's an interesting concept. Um, using using that to uh, dry. You basically dampen uh, a microfiber towel and then use the paint moisturizer to kind of wipe the car down, but you still end up having to go back over it with another microfiber towel to actually get the car dry. And there's a lot of frequent um, rotation of microfiber towels, so, you, so be prepared for that. You're gonna probably need, I would say eight to 10, maybe, maybe, you know, six to 10, well, let's go with that, depending on how, how careful you want to be basically but overall it's a technique that can work but done improperly you can still scratch a car so you know you, if you're going to do it if you're going to invest the money take the time to do it right watch their videos um use the two bucket method that they talk about i didn't do it in mine um but you should if, <laughs> if you want to you know really make sure that you're doing it properly now the skin defense coat is is interesting because it's it's going to take time for me to really be able to get a feel for how that performs it's it, it applies just like any other type of you know liquid wax basically you rub it on let it set for a few minutes take it off but what they say the difference with theirs is is that you can build up layers um, and you're not having to strip it off like you would do with a traditional wax so you can just keep adding layers of it and it supposedly adheres to the clear coat and acts as a protectant for you so the more coats you have on it the better and finally the spit emergency shine didn't really get the chance to use that too much um i I used it a little bit after I had put on this, the uh, protective skin coat and what I like about it so far is that it doesn't leave behind any residue like some detailer sprays do 
Um, so, you know, all in all, all four components seem high quality. Um, it's a bit on the pricey side, obviously, um, you know, 125 bucks. But if you're, like I said, if you're willing, if you care about your paint and you want to do things the right way, I, I recommend using the ammo products. So all in all, do I think it's worth the $125? I, I think time will tell. Um, I mean, it, obviously continue using it um, for the next several months and see how it holds up and then I'll do a long-term review but my initial impressions are, are positive um, I think it's well worth the money just because you know the pieces kind of go together um, each one complements the other so if you're gonna do it you're gonna need all four pieces of the puzzle to actually care for your paint properly using their products and like I said, watch their videos, make sure that you use the proper technique, especially when it comes to their drying method. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, let me know, and thanks for watching.